fix in us your humble dwelling. All your faithful mercies grant. Jesus, source of all compassion, love unbounded, love of pure. Visit us with your salvation. Let your love in us In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of God our Father, the love of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we prepare to celebrate sacred mysteries, to listen to God's word and to make it our own, let us first ask to know God's loving mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you nourish us with your body and your blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us praise our God with one voice. Glory to, to God, God in the highest, and, and on earth peace, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure that in the name of your beloved Son we may abound in good works through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. First the Lord degraded the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, but in the end, he has glorified the seaward road, the land west of the Jordan, the district of the Gentiles. Anguish has taken wing, dispelled is darkness, for there is no gloom where but now there was distress. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom, a light has shone. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing. As they rejoice before you, as at the harvest, as people make merry when dividing spoils. For the yoke that burdened them, the pole on their shoulder, and the rod of their taskmaster you have smashed as on the day of Midian. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. Your words, O Lord, are spirit and life. The 
law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eyes. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are, are true, all of them just. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. Let the words of my mouth and the thought of my heart find favor before you. O oh Lord, my rock and my redeemer, your words, Lord, are spirit and life. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I urge you, brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree in what you say, and that there be no divisions among you, but that you be united in the same mind and in the same purpose. For it has been reported to me about you, my brothers and sisters, by Chloe's people, that there are rivalries among you. I mean that each of you is saying, I belong to Paul, or I belong to Apollos, or I belong to Cephas, or I belong to Christ. Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Or were you baptized in the name of Paul? For Christ did not send me to baptize, but to preach the gospel, and not with the wisdom of human eloquence, so that the cross of Christ might not be emptied of its meaning. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor and to proclaim liberty to captives. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you. When Jesus heard that John had been arrested, he withdrew to Galilee. He left Nazareth and went to live in Capernaum by the sea, in the region of Zebulon and Naphtali, that what had been said through the prophet Isaiah might be fulfilled. Land of Zebulon and land of Naphtali, the way to the sea beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles. The people who sit in darkness have seen a great light on those dwelling in a land overshadowed by death. Life has arisen. From that time on, Jesus began to preach and say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. 
gambling is one of the fastest growing addictions in America today. Mania for winning the lottery or striking it rich at the casino reveals a general tendency to want to get something for nothing, or at least for a, a minimal amount of effort. Many people entered the job market expecting bigger salaries for fewer hours of work. Investors want big payoffs with the least amount of risk. Millions of people want all kinds of benefits but are unwilling to pay the price. In real life, however, there are no free lunches. No one gets anything for nothing. If we receive a good education, we likely worked hard to get it. If our marriages and family lives are prospering, it has taken a lot of goodwill and effort. If we're making good money at our jobs, we are undoubtedly earning it. This is a lesson confirmed in the Gospel reading this morning in which Jesus proclaims that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. And while this is good news, there's a condition attached. Something that applies to any good thing in life. and entrance into the kingdom has its price. We need to make ourselves ready for it with a change of heart. Jesus tells us simply, repent. Now, all of us would relish a life of peace and love and kindness and compassion. We wish that harmony existed among all people and that trust and tolerance were universal, universally in evidence. We long for a time when war will be at an end, when civil strife will be no more, where sharing is a way of life more than for more and more people. This would indeed kingdom living. But the kingdom living remains a utopia for the most part because few are willing to make the effort required to bring it about. We speak passionately about ideals but often fall short of the practical discipline required to make them real. We want the benefits of kingdom living, but we don't want the change in vision and lifestyle that makes those benefits possible. But if we are earnest about kingdom living, and growing spiritually, we have to be committed to paying the piper. In whatever we set about, are we willing to pay the price for what we want out of life? In our jobs, in our relationships, in our self-improvement, in our spirituality, Contrary to popular belief, those successful in all walks of life are not simply lucky. They are people who are willing to do whatever it takes. And we Christians must be among them. May we profess our faith together by praying the ancient apostles' creed. 
I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. God promises to lighten our load and free us from oppression. Let us lift up our prayer, confident that God's kingdom is near. That the church continue to reveal the merciful face of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those in authority treat citizens and employees justly and be mindful of their dignity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That people who are still struggling for their independence soon achieve it without bloodshed, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all would come to believe in the sacredness of human life from conception to natural death, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who gather here will be nourished by this banquet of love mindful that Christ is calling us to holiness and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Faithful God, you gather all people together by the power of your Holy Spirit. Grant what we dare to ask in faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. My sisters and brothers, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, <coughs> the Almighty Father. May the Lord sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Accept our offerings, O Lord, and in sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere. To give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed us in your own image and set us over the whole world in all its wonders <coughs> to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in 
indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink <coughs> from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. Until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, all the clergy, religious, and God's people everywhere. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, <coughs> we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. 
graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. May we greet one another with a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be. One bread, one body, one cup, one call, one faith, one spirit, Present in us all, one prayer, one blessing, one hope, one peace. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that receiving the grace by which you bring us to new life, we may always glory in your gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Eucharist is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lead me, Lord, lead me, Lord, by the light of truth to seek and divine a narrow way.